My name is Elliot Erwitt. I take photographs for a living and also for my pleasure. Fundamentally, I'm a professional amateur. I like to travel to see the world and to check out the human condition. And most recently, I have traveled all through Scotland. We are about to witness the uh, Highland Games. I'm not participating because I'm not Scottish, but I'm going to be watching and snapping. Coastal trail, we can go to Spay Bay or we can go to Bucking. Spay Bay or Bucking. Don't you think we're going to do a left and then just get on the track? Amusing, beautifully framed and true works of genius. It was a case of getting somebody who gave us a different perspective. The reason I love Elliot's walk and I thought it was so appropriate here is it's a wonderful observational skill. Uh, the idea we came up with was Scottish character. We felt that ideally suited the Macallan, but also the diversity of individuals, locations, and things that make Scotland quirky, interesting, world-renowned and, quite frankly, fabulous. And Elliot met that brief perfectly. And the joy was for us to empower Elliot to use Leica cameras, to shoot with film and to get his perspective on this idea of Scottish character. 
the idea behind the project here is really to come up with a series of images which are really quite special and sum up Scotland to produce a beautiful book, but a book that actually illustrates Eliot's wonderful sense of humour and his quirkiness in the book itself will contain um, a bottle of whisky in the form of a decanter. El Eliot, maybe if you talk a little bit about your vision for the, the project. Well, <clears throat> this photographic project is, uh, is a dream project because uh, for me, for the kind of photography that I like to do, because it has no restrictions. It's a, the brief is take pictures in Scotland. Uh, what could be more inviting for a photographer? The character comes out. I mean, if you walk around in the street or go to uh, events, festivals, uh, theater, or just walk in the street, as long as you don't manufacture photographs, uh, I think you You see what uh, what people are like, what the country is like, what the atmosphere is like, what the character is like. Um, the wonderful thing about this job is that mm. it's not supposed to be pretty. You're not supposed to do pretty things. You're just supposed to do real things. And that, of course, is always preferable way to photograph. A Leica is, is, is my camera of choice. It has been since the beginning of my career. 60 years ago. I've only changed models a few times. I'm now working with the last uh, of the film um, models, the M7P. Um, and I, again, it's, it's an unusual opportunity to, to work in, in the style that you're become accustomed to and that you feel most, most comfortable in and uh, I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, it's a lovely shot. What? You have to try not to look so miserable. Are you, are you working? Yeah, you're working. I didn't know that. You, di you, didn't, you didn't say action. Oh, I know. It's because I know you're particularly fond of this at the Drover's Inn uh, by Loch Lomond. I, I like this one. This was a little bit tricky to take because it was almost pitch dark inside. Mm. And I really wasn't able to see very well what I was doing. But um, a photographer always has to trust the luck. And uh, I think I was lucky in this instance. Even though I wasn't able to see the picture I was, I was taking. I think we also got lucky in the fact that they're using a bottle, of an empty bottle of Macallan with a candle in it, which is a <laughs> great coincidence here as well. Ah. I'll have to print that down so that we can see it even better. <laughs> well, I just stood in front of this uh, snack bar and waited for something to happen. So it was just a matter of waiting for some human evidence to, to, give, you know, to give it scale and to give it context. And the way I usually work is find a situation and, uh, and wait for something to happen. You first get the sort of the frame, and then you sort of wait for somebody to fill it. What came out of the tasting last night is that um, the 18 year old is uh, indeed my favorite. I keep a bottle at home, and every night just before going to bed, I take a, a half a shot just to <laughs> ensure that I have sweet dreams. <laughs> Maybe we could do this together. I could slap you. You could slap me. <laughs>